The deceased are identified as a father and a son. KTLA 5's Aaron Myers at the scene with more details. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, you two. That's right. Investigators have confirmed that this father and son, they both have died. They are calling this suspicious deaths, and they have not ruled out the possibility of homicide. You can see investigators are still here, but they tell us they are planning on clearing the scene shortly. Now, this is what we know. Just before 7 last night, deputies from the Thousand Oaks Police Department and personnel from Ventura County Fire responded here to the 2300 block of Chiquita Lane in the neighborhood of the Oak Grove Villas. The call was for a possible suicide. When they went inside the home, first responders found a man in his 40s unresponsive. They also found a seven-year-old boy who was unconscious. The man was declared dead here at the scene. The seven-year-old was transported to Los Robles Hospital in Thousand Oaks. He was pronounced dead shortly after his arrival there. Ventura County Sheriff's major crimes investigators determined that the man and little boy are father and son. They have not said what the cause of death was, but officials are calling the death suspicious in nature and that they have not ruled out once again the possibility of homicide. At this time, it's also not known who made that emergency call. Investigators say situations like this involving children Children are extremely difficult for all involved. Oh my gosh, it's it's terrible. I mean, it's especially if you're a mother or parent, uh, nobody wants to imagine or even try to process something like that. So it's it's devastating. You know, not just to the family, but but everybody that responds, the neighbors. You know, it impacts the community as a whole. Once again, the cause of these deaths are still under investigation, but authorities say that there is no threat to the public. Reporting live here in Thousand Oaks, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Erin, thank you. An 80-year-old man is in custody this morning, accused of fatally shooting another man outside of an Amazon Fresh store in Westchester. It happened just after 4 yesterday afternoon near La Cienega Boulevard and West Sentinella Avenue. Authorities say the victim and suspect got into a dispute over a woman. Witnesses say the victim was yelling racial slurs at the alleged gunman, and that's when he opened fire. The 30-year-old victim was pronounced dead on scene. The suspected gunman stayed on scene and was eventually taken into custody. Their identities have not been released. Federal prosecutors in New York have charged a third man in connection with the 2002 shooting death of hip-hop artist Jam Master Jay. Jay, whose real name was Jason Mazel, was a member of the group Run DMC. He was shot in the head in his New York studio by a masked man in October of 2002. Now, 49-year-old Jay Bryant has been indicted after prosecutors linked him to the crime using DNA evidence. Two other men were indicted three years ago. They've pleaded not guilty, and they're going to stand trial next year. Prosecutors say the rapper's death involved the drug deal gone wrong. Updated plans have been released on a proposed new mixed-use complex in Hollywood. The complex will stand at the site at the Toyota of Hollywood dealership. It's being called 6000 Hollywood Boulevard, which is the address there. The development will feature a 350-unit high-rise apartment building along with low-rise office, retail, and restaurant spaces. Plans also call for 44 of the apartments to be used for affordable housing. Approval for the project is still in the works, but a groundbreaking is expected in 2026 with completion three years later. A bear took a late night stroll through a Thousand Oaks neighborhood last night. Authorities got reports of an animal walking between Ventu Park Road and Amgen Center Drive about 11 p.m. Officials used emergency lights and a horn to shoo the bear along. It appeared to be wearing a tracking collar. After a while, it hopped a fence behind a gated community and then went back into the wild. Would you call that like joy? Having a little jo joy strolling? Joy, yeah, strolling for joy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just just you know, tearing up. You the know, town. he was looking for something. Right. Yeah. No, exactly. Trash can. Food.